is actually uh, for our next speak. This is one of my favorite speakers in our group. I mean, everybody knows who he is. Uh, he's always funny and makes me laugh every single time he does a speech. So for our next speaker will be Don Welton. Don will be completing speech number nine in the Competent Communicator uh, Manual, Persuading with Power. Don is finishing up his ninth month in Toastmaster. He's very thankful uh, that his profession from RCC encouraged him to visit Toastmasters Club. And he's very glad that his wife suggested this club. So today's speech will be hopefully, will hopefully be five to seven minutes, entitled 525,600 Minutes. Mr. Don Welton. Imagine 525,600 minutes. How did you measure a year? That's how many we've had this year. Well, when the year is over. Next year, you know, leave you. We get an extra 24 times 60, but 1,440 extra more minutes, too. Some of you are already probably thinking, like, how many more minutes do I get to sleep every night? <laughs> anyway, when I look back and think about what I've done this year, what have I accomplished, did I do what I wanted to do? And for you, did you do what you wanted to do? What did you want to accomplish? Did you get it done? Or did you not? The days are long, but the years are short. They seem to get shorter every year, don't they? I can't believe how quick they come. I just have one thing, just one thing I want to get through here today. One thing. Before I say that, I walked in this morning. Humble. I was right over here. I didn't, you know, and at first I thought it was his name tag. <laughs> then I oh, it's the word of the day. <laughs> uh, anyway, you caught me off guard with that. <laughs> one thing I want you to do today. I have one thing to persuade you. I've been sick this week, so I kind of like threw this together. But I thought if I could tell them one thing, this is the very last speech I get to give this year. If I could give them one thing, what would I want to give them? Here's the one thing I want, and I'm supposed to persuade you something. So here's the one thing I want to persuade you to do today, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, today I want to persuade you to do one thing. I want you to decide, to decide, and I'm not stuttering, I want you to decide, to decide what you really want to do next year. So today, I want you to choose to choose, in other words, I don't know if I'm saying it quite correctly. I want, you, I want you to catch this. I want you just today to decide that you're going to decide what you want to do next year. You're not going to coast through next year. You're not going to float through next year. You know, I've, I've had years just disappear. I want to look back. You know, think back all the years in your life. I've got a lot of them now, 58. You know, to think about them. So if I, what did I do that year? Did I do anything that year? So I want you to decide to decide. I'm going to make a decision. Because that's a, that's a responsibility. That's a really awesome opportunity. We get to. There's places in the world people don't get to decide what they're going to do next year. We get to decide what we're going to do next year. So that's my big thing I want you to catch. It's this year. Is, is today I want you to make the decision that I will choose to choose what I'm going to do next year. Now, I, I said there's only one thing I'm going to try to persuade you to do today. There's a couple more things I'm going to try to persuade you to do. But one of them is that's in the next couple weeks, and then one of them is for next year. So for today, I want you to just decide to decide that you are going to decide what you really, really, really want to do next year. And then over the next two weeks, I want you to work on figuring it out. What is it? What do I really want to accomplish next year? When, when a year from now, Don's up there giving the last speech of this, of this year, and he, and he brings us back up again, maybe I will, probably I won't, but, but <laughs> if I did, will you be able to look back and think, you know, I did that, and I had the best year of my life. I really focused, I figured it out, I decided what I wanted to do, and I went after it. When I look back at this last year, I, I, I had some highlights, I had some low lights, you know, <laughs> and, and, and I'm thankful, I'm thankful I, I, that that professor at RCC did encourage us to come visit. I'm thankful for that, you know, because I'm glad I'm a Toastmaster, I'm enjoying it, a lot of fun. We're, we're gaining, we're learning new things, we're becoming better speakers, hopefully, and getting and meeting new friends at the same time. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that 
RCC um, had a big contest. They were part of a big contest called Skills USA, and, and I was in the photography section. And some way, somehow, I won it at RCC. I, you know, I, I won that contest. I, how did I win? You know, and, and then I got to go to the regional and, and won Region Six for the state of California. And then somehow, I won the state of California. Well, how did that happen? Three years ago, you would be hard pressed to find anybody. 55 years old, three years ago, that had taken less shots in their life, photography pictures, than me. And, 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 I'm, and I'm looking at that, I'm so thankful. And then I got, they sent me to Louisville, Kentucky for a week to compete. And I got fourth in the nation against all the other state winners. And I, I wish I could have won. You know, I tell you, I'm a little bit competitive. Just a little bit, you know? And, and, but I'm thankful. And I was, and actually, honestly, I was, I was thrilled with fourth, but I still wish I could have won. And, and then, you know, I think of all the things that have happened and come and gone in this, in this past year. You know, um, I finished up my last photography class at RCC and graduated with a 4.0. You would just have to know me 30 years ago <laughs> to just understand 4.0. You know, I, I, I graduated from high school with a 191. I'm not kidding. One point, you know, just under C. You know, and, and it was pathetic. So I'm, I'm thankful for that and I'm proud of that. You know, it's something that, I just didn't get it the first time around. But what are you going to do next year? I had some low lights too. My biggest failure of the year, I did not get my website up and running. Mm -hmm. And I set the goal for September 30th. And I, I wasn't expecting to get to go to nationals in June for that competition. That kind of put everything back, not making excuses. You know, I, I tell people you can you can make you know you can you can make excuses or you can get results, but you can't do both. You know, so you have to decide what are you going to do? Are you going to make excuses or are you going to get results? I'll tell myself that. So it's on the top of the list again for this year. So I got to get that website out. But I set it September 30th and then I changed it to December 31st. But what are you going to do next year? Here's, here's the three things I really want you to catch today. First, decide today that you will decide to decide. You will choose to choose. You will, you're making the decision right now. I am going to create next year the way I want it to be. And then over the next two weeks, figure out what you really, really, really want to do. That a year from now, you'll be proud that you did it. Your life will be changed because you did it. And then the third thing, take a step every day. I'm just convinced that we don't hit the kind of goals that we really want to do because they seem too big for us. They seem too hard for us. Every day, you just take a step. You know, three years ago, I started shooting photography. You know, I, I wasn't even the best in my class in this first introductory beginning class. There were so many people that, you know, I just didn't get it. But it, every day I took a step, took another picture. I, I learned a little bit more about editing. You know, I just every day tried something a little bit different. And every day. So set, if you'll, if you'll figure out today, I'm going to make the decision to go forward. And then if you'll find out what you really, really, really want to do, and then take a step every day, you'll be amazed at what things are.